Hey guys, Nate Harris here with Stone River Outfitters. Thanks for joining me. In this brief video, I'm going to share with you how to create your own beautifully long, wispy, easy wrapping spay hackles by carefully and neatly splitting readily available and refreshingly inexpensive pre burnt goose shoulder feathers or select burned goose flank. A somewhat tedious task, I'll candidly warn, but one I promise can be fast mastered with a little patience and, of course, some practice. Let's go ahead and give splitting goose shoulder a try. To begin, we'll first need to assemble a few basic tools, starting with a smooth, flat, ultra-hard surface upon which we'll press and split, such as the spare ceramic floor tile I'm using today. We'll also need a nice, heavy-duty razor blade, not like the wimpy ones that we shave with, but instead the sturdier kind used in a box cutter or a utility knife, and we'll also want a cheap, heavy-handled screwdriver with a notably hard, smooth, semi-flat rounded handle butt. Of course, we'll also need to secure ourselves a healthy pile of select pre-burnt goose shoulder feathers or burned goose flank too. Next, let's take a moment before starting to examine closely the gently cupped or rear-facing side of our goose feather stem. Notice the fine natural crease running lengthwise along its center. A simple and often overlooked attribute, it is indeed this subtle natural growing crease that truly holds the key to our end state success as this simple subtle crease can be easily exploited conveniently in our favor into an eventual neat and handsome split by first using the smooth hard butt end of our screwdriver to carefully and evenly hammer flat the entirety of our flank feathers long tapered stem. Working progressively from base end towards tip Targeting accurately with each hammering stroke, the center line, stem alone, and not the feather's long fine barbules or our fat, fragile fingers. Once adequately flattened, we'll next begin coaxing that natural crease into a working split start by vigorously smashing then dragging the hard, semi-flat rounded handle butt of our screwdriver smoothly yet firmly across our flattened feather stem's entire long axis. Employing steadily drawn and increasingly heavy-handed strokes, a closer look reveals how this vigorous smash-and-drag motion quickly transforms our once subtle natural growing crease into a now crisp, clean, and notably well-defined centerline split. Next, using the backside non-sharp edge of our heavy-duty razor blade, we'll begin splitting the stem neatly along its middle by inserting the razor's dull corner tip carefully inside the exacerbated crease and carefully dragging the non-sharp edge in firm, deliberate fashion smoothly down and along the stem's pre-parted centerline groove. As you can see, this is indeed much more of a splitting process than it is a cutting one. Remember, an overly sharp razor blade coupled with a swift, overly eager approach will almost certainly result in our accidentally carving into then inadvertently cutting completely through one or both of the stem's woody sideballs. Of course, after a quick bit of final attention paid perhaps, if necessary, to parting out the remainder of the stem's thin tapered tip, once cleanly and completely separated, our pre-burnt goose feather is at last cleanly split and ready for use. Well friends, there we have it pre-burnt goose split neatly down its middle, as hinted when we first began, this seemingly tedious task can, over time, with a little patience, persistence, and of course some practice, prove a surprisingly quick, easy, and refreshingly inexpensive way for you to fabricate your own steady, readily available supply of beautifully long, wispy, easy wrapping spay hackles, perfect for dressing many of our most favorite steelhead and Atlantic salmon classics. Hey gang! Thanks so much for tuning in today. Do please remember to visit us on the web for all your fly fishing and fly tying needs, and as always, snug wraps and tight lines to all.